I think we all know those leftover tiny bits and pieces that we have on our desk after finishing a project. So let's go a fun way to clean our desk and make some mini envelopes. <laughs> Hi crafty friends, this is Luisa Heinzel and in today's video I would like to show you a really easy and simple way to decorate some mini envelopes only with the scraps that you have left over on your desk. So enjoy this little fun thing and perhaps you have some similar things on your desk that you could use to make such envelopes. So as you can see, I have some book pages here, some really tiny scraps um, of music paper sheets and all those little leftover things from such a scrapbooking block where you can um, yeah, simply take those little elements out and use them for your collaging and that stuff. And I had those from a Christmas journal that I made the other day and um, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want it to um, bring those things back to my shelf and I had no idea how um, I could organize them because I only had those, um, yeah, those few tiny little bits and pieces left over and not a whole bunch of them. So I don't want it to uh, make an extra box for them and put them in there and wait until the next Christmas uh, journal time <laughs> so i decided to make those little additional envelopes that i can also put into my um, christmas journal so they went into this christmas journal that i made but of course you can also use them for other projects or um, to put um, tiny things into them little greeting cards or something like that i wanted that all those envelopes um, are matching each other so that they um, look really similar in the background so <clears throat> I decided to take my book pages, um, make some scraps and those uh, music paper sheets and also this little um, dictionary page that I had there and I collaged them to the background of all the five envelopes, uh, envelopes that you can see there so that the background is really, really, um, yeah, nearly the same so that everything fits together. Then I took some leftover fabric and some... Um, yarn of my sewing machine and um, layered it to um, this envelope and um, yeah I tried to arrange all those little tiny things so that it probably makes sense. <laughs> so um, this little butterfly of course I know it's not um, this typical thing for Christmas but I thought um, with this little tiny quote on this um, little sign there um, it would fit really well and I wanted to have something that's not so Mm, yeah, not so usual for Christmas, or how can I say that? Um, I also had this little um, paper button, and I struggled a little bit around where to put it, and then I decided to put it there to give this top of the envelope a little bit more interest. Um, yeah, <laughs> and so I went on and um, put all those little things and pieces together. So hopefully you can get some inspiration. Um, if you are interested to see some pictures of my work or um, some other things that I can't show on YouTube, please um, consider to follow me on Instagram. I have all the information listed down below in the description box so that you can click them. I also have a Facebook page if you want to follow me there to get some news or something like that about my actual projects or my things that are in my Etsy shop and that stuff and yeah I would be really happy if we see somewhere else and um, if you would like to follow me somewhere else. So this little hedgehog gave me some <laughs> yeah something like a little headache because I don't um, wanted to have it um, too much in the foreground. I wanted to have it included into this envelope, but this thing was so dark um, comparing to the other elements on this page uh, that I really struggled around to get it there. But I think with this little um, word that says uh, winter on the left side, it went out really, really cool. Um, and um, a little trick, perhaps, if you are a beginner or not so familiar with uh, making those little collages, um, I like to arrange all the bits and pieces that I have on my desk um, without gluing them first. So as you could see, I put all the things 
nearly in the um, in the end position to this envelope but without gluing them so that I have a much more easy job to have um, a look over all this thing and that I can um, much more easily see um, I think that was the wrong grammar sorry <laughs> Um, I want to say I can see if there's a harmony on my envelopes or not. So please excuse my weird English in the in this uh, videos that you can see on this channel. But um, I'm from Austria. I was born in Germany. And yeah, if you are new to this channel, perhaps you think, oh my gosh, what is she talking? Please excuse my grammar and my <laughs> vocabulary that sometimes um, is really, really weird. But um, I try my best to explain those things also for the people um, that are not able to speak or to um, to um, understand German. So I would like to try to go this yeah, way between those both languages. Um, if you know my channel, you uh, know that there are also German um, tutorials and I try to go this way between. So hopefully that's okay for you. Um, in this case, I had some yellow elements this little things there on this reindeer uh, top on his head and um yeah i combined it with li this little other yellow things so i think that turned out really nice and um, on this envelope i had also some darker elements and this golden elements and i always have um yeah this little bit of a fear to use um, elements that are really dark when i make something for christmas so um, I wanted to have it a little bit uh, something like elegant, but that was not so easy because, um, yeah, of course, when this gold is printed, so from this scrapbooking paper, of course, it's, it's a printed version of some kind of gold, then it looks not so golden. So <laughs> do you know what I mean? And then it's not so elegant like you would um, expect it. But I think it turned out really, really nice. And um, yeah. Uh, for the last step, I decided to go over this envelope series with uh, some stamps. I used this uh, really, really abstract stamp. Um, I did it also because I have some of those stamps in my journal, so that I know that this kind of stamping would fit to the rest of the journal, and that it gives it a little bit of a yeah, uh, of a harmony as well. So I don't know how to say that, but I think you know what I mean. So yeah, that's it. So I think this is a really, really pretty cool way to clean your desk and have something tiny, something special, something that you made only out of the trash that you found on your desk. And um, if you want to have some fun, then <laughs> take a paintbrush, take some paint. In this case, I took this golden paint and this brown paint before and make some splashes because splashes are always really, really fun and they give this whole project, yeah, something like a finishing touch. So I hope you like this little thing and I hope we will see you the next time. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you the next time. Bye bye.